Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hello Geminis, I have a Gemini rising. But I'm an Aquarius sun and a Capricorn moon. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Gemini. This is from March, 2022. What's Gemini's messages? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You know what's funny is you're ruled by Mercury. Mercury rules communication. Look what's right here. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Some of you, there is this expression though to end something first. For some. For some of you, it's about expressing that you're fucking interested. I know a lot of bitches like to pretend like they ain't interested and then later go cry to their friend like, oh my God, he didn't call me because you was not joining many mine. You was resting bitch face, you know? So you got to do your part. <laughs> you got to let someone know that you're interested, right? New man on the Minnesota Vikings. Strength, Leo energy. Having the strength to speak the fuck up. Having the strength to make an effort. Ooh, the chariot. Cancerian energy. That's forward progress and movement. The chariot is victory, isn't it? But it's movement. So it could also symbolize travel and transportation, a car or something, okay? Some of you might be traveling soon. Some of you might need to travel this to see this new person. Some of you, this is you getting a new car. Something to do with a vehicle. But it's also having the strength to move the fuck on so that new love can come. The sun, the happiest card in the whole fucking deck. But it's heavy Leo energy as well. Strong Leo energy here. The sun is also awakening. It's enlightenment. The sun also represents healing. But there's something coming to light here. Is it an expression of the way that you feel? Are you hiding it? Are they hiding it? Kang dang a lang as I call him, honey. King of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. King of Wands, though, is somebody who is very aggressive and assertive. Someone who makes a move. Some of you are waiting for someone to make a move. You're like, damn, I'm waiting for this motherfucker to call me. I thought that we, we liked each other. Oh, so they, yeah, they do. Knight of Cups, secret admirer. They might be too nervous. Maybe because you didn't show you were fucking interested. Oh, interesting, huh? The Empress, birth of a new cycle, the mother energy. Justice, this is Libra. This is getting what you deserve. In this new abundant cycle, some of you guys are getting what you deserve. Whatever that means, honey. Whatever you put out, you're getting back. So if you put out abundance and blessings and all this great stuff, it's coming right fucking back to you. Justice is also balance. It's karma. Some of you guys are clearing out your karmic scales and cycles and balances and debts and such. Um, and for some of you with this Empress energy being the mother energy, there's this feeling here of it could be pregnancy. And for those of you that don't want pregnancy to be at the forefront of your shit right now, then you then you know what to do, don't you? Yes, you do, boo-boo. Oh, what was that? Immediately look for a sign. Some of you are waiting for a goddamn sign. The universe done sent you 75,000 just yesterday alone. I need another sign. A sign of your sign. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's your sign. Some of you was looking for a sign. There it is. Some of you, a lightning bolt is symbolic, okay? Look for a sign. I think that maybe you are saying, hey, I don't know. So then ask. Tell the universe, yo, I need fucking help. Tell me what the fuck to do. Give me a sign. Help me out, spirit guides and angels. Ah, judgment. Look at that. The phoenix. In this particular deck, the Intuit Oracle deck, it says rebirth. Transformation. Heeding the call. Renewal. Destruction and creation. Right? The end and the beginning. Surrender, awakening, clearing and purging. Some of you guys are clearing and purging. The book, 
secret, hidden, mystery, the unknown, and the snake deception and backstabbing and betrayal and toxic and silent treatment. Some of you have to get rid of that. You have to get rid of that energy. There's someone around you that may not want to see you win. Someone around you that may not be actually rowing. They're actually drilling holes in your boat. So also for some of you, getting out of this, it's like a, it's like a karmic relationship or something. Some of you may be dealing with a lot of hater aid, people that are just haters around you. Feeling like all of a sudden you can't trust people. Maybe a lot of secrets are coming to light and you're going, what the fuck is this shit? Like shocking. You know, and, and, and it could very well be that too. The head of the pack. This is persistence and finishing first. This is someone who's super successful. They're the leader. They, they have extreme motivation and drive. Someone here wants to win. They want to succeed. Mm, the beaver. Making dreams real. The beaver talks about like shit being stacked up against you too. You know, persistence paying off. It's being really determined. Someone here did, just didn't take no for an answer is what it is. I don't feel that. Balance. Being centered. See that alignment. The balance card talks about well-being and feeling complete and it talks about awareness and just right, you know, and the meditation and all these different things. Some of you are coming into this energy space of alignment within yourself, feeling more at peace. Maybe for some of you, you're doing yoga, you're stretching more, you're doing breathing exercises, you're listening to meditation music. There's that light bulb, light bulb goes off, the epiphany, boom. The epiphany, there's a realization, there's something also that is discovered. Now I'm telling you, is there fucking truth of something discovered? Woman. Some of you might find out there was another woman. Huh. Yep, there's a woman there. There could have been more than one woman involved here. And some of you are finding that out the hard way. And it's going to be really heartbreaking. And it's going to be something that's like you go, what the fuck? But that might be the final straw of how something here ends for new love to come in. Remember, you have new love and you also have expressed yourself. Express your love. So this is you or the other person that's had to deal with third party energy. The falcon. Falcon is about rising up and it's also about the higher self. It's a third eye awakening. The Falcon talks about strategy and skill and focus, and it talks about changes. So there's a lot of change happening here, Gemini and Gemini cross watchers. Winds of change, right? Change is among us. Oh, the bear, big dick energy. The bear is the boss, the CEO. The bear speaks about being really protective and it could be someone who's just really physically fit, right? It's a beautiful, gorgeous fucking energy. All right, guys, we are going to um, pull another card here, and then we're going to get into your extended. Let's get a couple of, in, of these oracle cards here. Remember your extended. Go ahead and click on that upside down triangle below, and the, the description box pops up. And there you have the link to the reading, the extended, right? It's under the March extended readings. And also the link is there for my Patreon. If you guys want to follow me there, I do erotic tarot readings there, okay? Um, also on my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com, you can pre-order my newest revised I Am Love bracelet with that gorgeous Celtic knot heart right there. And then, of course, as you can see, it's half rose quartz, half amethyst. And it's pre-order, but also you can pre-order my daughter's second bracelet, which is her Sakuda Cherry Blossom Flower Gatti. And they're both pre-orders to be, to be received uh, sometime next month in March, okay? So you have your stab in the, in the, ba in the back. I can't even talk. It's discombobulation, Ugh, being all like tongue-tied. Stabbed in the back is heartbreak, pain, deception, shocking attack. See, I think some of you guys can find something out that's gonna be super shocking and painful and it's like something is revealed and it's not very great, but you needed it to be revealed because it's about being able to free yourself from the fucking snake in the grass, okay? haters are starting to fuck up and make themselves known and you're you're finally being able to free yourself from these people that shouldn't be in your fucking life is the point you see what i'm saying and that's what's important here is i think what's coming to light is stuff that may have gone un under your nose that you didn't see and now the universe is saying yo take a look at this bullshit what is this 
Some of you may have been like been just uh, deceived by some friends, people that you called friends. It could be really deep. All right, you guys. Anyways, I want to thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's XI underscore Missy underscore XI. And do not get duped with the fake accounts on both Instagram and TikTok that are pretending to be me. Do not have backup accounts. I only have one account each on Instagram and one on TikTok. I do not have multiple. That's ridiculous. It's no point to that, okay? Don't get duped. All right, you guys. I will see you in the extended. Love you.